Have you been wanting to create an online pizza order form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And if you have been wanting to create your own pizza order form that is online, this is the place to be. So let's go ahead and play with some options on how to create this form. So in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna go to create a form. And for this example, let's go ahead and start with the use template option, because if this is your first time building an online form, you might not know everything that you need to ask. So let's go ahead and do a quick search for pizza and we see lots of different options now if you want you can choose from any of these as a starting point so what I like to do is I prefer to start from scratch however I want to go ahead and take a look at one of these templates so I can see exactly what they are offering and we can see we have just basic information right name email phone and their address perfect all right, that got my creative juices flowing. Let me see, we have a product list here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump out of this. I'm gonna head back up to the top. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start from scratch on the classic form. Now we're gonna bring in some basic form elements. So I'm gonna get their name, email, we'll get their phone number, and then we're going to get their delivery address. And I'm going to end up embedding this form on my website and I already have a heading. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this top heading right up here and we can rename it this form pizza order form. Perfect. Now, if we scroll down, we need a place for them to order their pizza. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose product list. And you can see it automatically comes up with one product for us to go ahead and either edit or get rid of. I'm gonna go ahead and just edit this one. And let's say we wanna offer a pepperoni slice, and we'll do 350 for that. And then we can get rid of these images and we can bring in our own pepperoni pizza. And we can also come up here at the top. We have different options. So as of right now, we have the quantity option on, but we also offer different product options as well. And then of course, if you would like to enable stock control, if you only have a certain amount of pizza slices for the day, you can turn this on and manage your stock. This is good. Let's go ahead and save. We can see that has now updated. I'm going to go back and we can click on the gear and we can duplicate it if it's the same price, pretty much the same things. We can edit this and we're going to go ahead and change this and make this one a slice of cheese pizza. We'll bring in that cheese pizza image. Perfect. And if you want to continue adding products, we can add the products straight from the form or we can head back over here in the product list and add more here as well. Now, if we need to add any type of shipping cost, we can turn this on and we can add shipping or delivery in our case. If we wanna add tax onto that, we can add that. And we can also turn on the invoice option. This is pretty much kind of like their receipt for their pizza. So let's go ahead and fill that out. And we can choose down here to attach it to our email. But we're good to go. We can go ahead and X out of the product list. Now we need a way for them to pay for their pizza. Now on the product list integration right here, we can see that there is an ad integration with a little credit card. So we can go ahead and choose this and we can choose which payment gateway we would like to collect the funds through. I'm gonna go ahead and choose PayPal Business. We'll choose Selection. And now we get to Connect. And we can see that we can show the debit credit and the PayPal option. If we'd like to turn off the PayPal option, we can do that and it's just going to populate with the credit card information. Now we can also add over on the left-hand side, we can add short, long text right above here. Maybe they have some notes or any kind of comments that they would like to leave us for their order. Now, one thing I want to do is, like I mentioned, we're going to be embedding this on my website. So I want to play with the branding a little bit because as of right now, we can see that there's a gray background. So the top right hand corner, we're going to choose the form designer and we can play with this and have it fit our brand to a T. We can change the page color, which is this gray background right now. And then the form color is white, which is where all of our form elements are sitting. We can play with the font color. We can play with the input background, which is going to be the background of our form field right here. Now, if you want, we can even 
upload a page image, maybe if it's a standalone form or we're not embedding it, we can add a picture of pizza in the background. But for me, like I mentioned, I'm going to be putting this on my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this for the background to be transparent. But we can also jump over to styles and we can play with the question spacing. We can kind of make it a little bit smaller. We can even change the font. Maybe we wanna change it to Roboto. Again, we can make this fit exactly our brand. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead in the top middle, we're going to choose publish. Then on the left-hand side, I'm gonna to go to embed and I'm just gonna use this copy code. Jotfor makes it really easy to grab the codes that you need to embed in your website. So I'm gonna head up to my website. I already have a page ready to go and we can see we have that order now right up here. So we didn't need that heading on our form. So I'm gonna choose this blank section and no matter the website that you are using, you're basically gonna look for some type of embedding code and embedding HTML. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that code in and update. Then we can X out of this. And then we're just gonna make this fit our website. Perfect. And if your website does have a mobile option, make sure you edit the mobile option too. But this looks great. Let's go ahead and preview. And then we'll give this a test. I'm gonna go ahead and do a fill out. And then we can choose our pizza slices. Let's say I want two pepperoni. So we can see now the total is $7. I don't have any notes, but now we are good to go. We can go ahead and pay with our credit card. All right, let's submit and we're good to go. All right, let's jump back over into our Jotform account. Right now we're currently in the form builder. So I'm gonna choose our table so we can see what that order looks like. And here we can see the date. We see Jasmine ordered pepperoni slices. We can see that she ordered two pepperoni slices. We have her transaction ID and we have that she paid by card. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own online pizza order form, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.